CMPs or crypto mining processes are a piece of technology similar to a video card but without any outputs that are specifically designed for mining. The question is, are these cards really worth it? Let's find out. So the world of CMPs, also known as crypto mining processes, and what are these exactly? So these are basically video cards that do not have the display outputs, as you can see in this picture right here. Gigabyte just released its uh, CMP30HX mining card. Basically, they announced that it can do around 30 mega hash per second. Probably you can overclock this a bit more. It's been said here that the specs are very similar to a GTX 1650 supercard. Even my GTX 1070 card can do 29 to 30 mega hash when overclocked. So this is pretty much costing around 720 US dollars in Romania at the moment, but it's still unclear if the price reflects the MSRP that was set by Nvidia or by Gigabyte. The disadvantage with these cards is that it does not have any display ports so it's just going to be used solely for crypto mining so if you actually want to resell the card you're gonna find a harder job to do that in the future unless miners want to buy this in the future and you want to sell your mining rig for example but it is limiting your options a bit so do keep that in mind as well in the future more cards are set to be released so the 30 HX was actually released two months ago in March. The availability was supposed to be in March, although I have not seen these myself yet. There is also the CMP40 HX, which was also released in March, which should do around theoretically 40 mega hash. So the last number is representing the mega hash here. To be determined, there's going to be the 50 and in May we should get the 90. So this month, the CMP90 HX which would be equivalent to a RTX 3080 when it comes to mining hash rates. It's going to burn around 320. So basically it's pretty much the same as a video card without the display ports. So they're pretty much just getting rid of the display ports and the cost for these is quite hefty in my opinion because for a 30 hash rate per second to pay 720 US dollars for that that is quite an investment, although at the time of this video, if you do mine with around 30 mega hash, you'd be making around $4 US dollars a day. So that would probably roughly take you around four or five months to ROI if you do get the 30 mega hash. There will be, which is very interesting, a CMP170HX supposedly going to be announced in the future, but no specs on that have been released just yet but that would be interesting to see so is this going to be worth it it might be worth it for some if you really still believe in crypto mining then yes it will be worth it if the prices continue to be driven up then yes these will be worth it even if you roi in six months it could possibly still be worth it you're getting your return on investment within a relatively short period of time so i think that that is pretty good but it all depends on your opinion I mean, if you want to buy a CMP just for mining, then fine, you can only use it for mining, so you can't buy it for anything else. If you prefer to buy a limited hash rate video card that potentially you can resell in the future because it's going to be good for gamers as well, then that would be possibly a better investment. It all depends on the pricing and how they're going to strategically price these. That is something we will have to see in the future as well. Just keep these in mind because it's quite an interesting article. I'll put this down below as well. Uh, the Gigabyte 30 HSX, as I said, is out now. It's been out for around a month. Let me know your views on this. Let me know your comments down below. It's very interesting to know what other people think on this subject as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos come out on my channel and also hit the like. Until next time guys, take very good care of yourselves and thank you for watching.